have Dr. J.D. Kumar Mishra, Joint Secretary, my team. We have Professor with uh, developmental issues and especially this uh, trying to really identify the aspirations of the unemployed youths in these two districts and also the way that he localized himself and then allowed uh, the officials led by the deputy commissioners to be quite friendly to very you know open up and then go into details of all the problems faced in their respective districts. It's quite a learning thing for me and then this also shows that we have the people's government in the nation and the way this also shows the heart of our Honorable Prime Minister in trying to bring, you know, uh, development. I'm honored to be part of this wonderful program where we are inaugurating we have inaugurated already five Nelit centers in the northeastern region. It is indeed true to the vision of our Honorable Prime Minister that the policy of reaching out down to the last, last mile is exhibited every day in the country and today we are witnessing one such event. I am very grateful to our uh, Union Minister for coming to the notice time and again. This is his second visit as a union minister. But uh, as a private citizen, this may be his 28th visit. He is a friend of our people and his commitment is shown in the way he has addressed, grasped and he, in the way he is trying to understand the challenges and address those challenges through his ministry. He launched it in India and I want to share that and my conversation primarily is aimed at the students today. There were three objectives. Number one was using technology to transform the lives of ordinary citizens and therefore improve governance, improve democracy. The second objective was to create more opportunities for our youth, expand our digital economy, expand investments. And the third objective of Digital India was about creating global leadership capabilities in India. Many, many of you are from government here, many of, almost all of us are citizens. You will all agree that on the first count on using technology to transform our lives and our governance, there has been significant progress.